Hey everybody. Okay, so I have the black speckles in the background, and then here is the picture. And on the picture, um, you can see the black speckled background. And now I'm going to draw, or excuse me, paint the the white circle that's the cup. And what I'll do for that is literally just make the white circle and then in the next video I'll show you how I put the brown in. So I'm letting each layer dry as I go. So here is the white and this is still the white that I use to kind of um, to make the, the flex. I actually blue dry this um, black background so that the acrylic dried. And what I'm going to do is um, just make a white circle. I like making that spirally shape to start with anyway. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to make it kind of big. So this is kind of cool. Looking like outer space or something different than what the image really is. I love how that works. So make sure I don't waste any paint by using reusing paint that was out. And whoop, doo -doo -doo. So, um, circle shape, it's not going to be as perfect as the one on there, but it's going to be the idea of circle, and there we go, it keeps getting oblongy, there, so come back and stretch this paint out, there's not so much stuck in the middle, out, out, out to the outer edges. And since the outer edges are really what's going to show um, when this painting is finished, this exercise is done, I'll make sure that that is uh, pretty thick out there, or at least. Do -do -do. Make sure that the circle outside really shows on the edges. Use the rest of this paint. There we go. There you go. Nice and easy. So kind of go through. It's very meditative actually to make these spiral shapes. Probably went all over with my camera. Okay, so there we go. There is the white circle on top of the black speckled background. And um, yeah, okay, so the next thing I'll do is add in the coffee swirl. I'll be right back. 